Good morning, loves. This is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Today, I just thought I'd turn on my camera, let you spend the day with me and my grandson. You want to come up here? <laughs> oh, you going to say hello? Say hi. This is my grandson, Amari. I'm gonna fill you in on some things that's gonna be happening within the, hi, with the, within the next month with him. I know a lot of you, uh, you continue to ask about him. Um, yes. You wanna come back up here? <laughs> All right. Um, I have posted on Instagram some things that's been going on with him. So right now I'm gonna fill you in uh, on YouTube as to what has been happening. Um, back in March or April, uh, we ended up rushing him to the ER. He was having uh, breathing issues and other things that was going on and he ended up staying in the hospital for like three days, all right? And they were watching him and running tests on him. Um, what they found was a cyst on his lung, all right? And they call that CPAM. So if you like to look up uh, medical things, you can look that up, because I'm not gonna go into uh, what that really is, but it's a cyst on the lung. To make a long story short, uh, my grandson Amari, he will be having surgery on September 27th to remove that cyst. Not only are they gonna remove the cyst, they will be removing the lower lobe of his left lung. So, uh, my son, his his father, his dad, is nervous. We all are nervous, but we are putting our faith and our trust in God that everything will be all right. And I have prayed, prayed to God about this situation. I have prayed over my grandson, and I have a calm spirit about it. All right, I'm I'm good. Um, so those that know the power of prayer, say a prayer for my grandson, all right? Say a prayer for my grandson. Um, his school is out, his daycare is out this week due to COVID, all right? They have shut down his class for about a week or so, so that's why he's home with me. But uh, I've been enjoying it. We've been having fun, right? We've been having fun? Yeah, we've been having fun, um, snuggling, getting all kind of kisses, and just bonding even more. I'm I'm taking advantage of this time. So, what am I gonna do today? <laughs> Won't be doing much, but I wanted to come to you on camera, explain that um, something that I've been doing. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Something that I've been doing. All of my mirrored furniture that I had in my living room. Since I have the mirrored consoles in my family room and the coffee table in my family room, I moved my uh, sofa table that I had in my living room back here and this little table here that you'll see shortly that I'm gonna decorate today. And of course that mirror that was by my door, all right? Now with that, I got some holes to fill and um, I'm gonna be painting this area, hopefully, <laughs> soon, all right? So I'm gonna work on this console table. First, I'm gonna get him something, and then I'll come back, and we're gonna work on this area here. So, stay tuned. So, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill these holes up here using some lightweight spackling, all right? We picked this up at you can pick it up at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. So I'm just gonna fill those two holes. And I'm gonna give it like a day or so to dry. 
I'm using a spatula to fill it in. Amari, stop. Amari's messing with my ring light, y'all. <laughs> If it's shaking, that's why. Here it is. It didn't want to go in that hole. <laughs> I may end up putting another coat of it in the holes. I try not to move my wall decor around too much <laughs> anymore. But uh, because of this, so I'm gonna decorate this space. But y'all gonna have to excuse the the fill in here of the hole. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna end up putting another coat of this on here tomorrow but in the meantime we're good so far and we're gonna move on to decorating I'm gonna get my mirror cleaned up and the console cleaned up and we're gonna go from there a lot of you question where I get this mirror from uh, I purchased this mirror five years ago <laughs> when we moved into this home from Home Goods. Home Goods has this mirror. I think they have it on Amazon. I've seen it on Wayfair. I'll do my research and if they have it on Amazon, I'll link it in my description box down below and place it in my Amazon store, okay? But we're gonna get this up, cleaned up, and we're gonna continue on. All right, guys, I have to switch to a voiceover because Mr. Amari is getting a little bit busy. <laughs> But anywho, I'm gonna clean my console here. This console and what I'm concentrating on today is in my kitchen nook, okay? If I hadn't uh, <laughs> said that yet, I am doing this area today. Cleaning this mirror. I don't think I will ever get rid of this mirror. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And now I'm gonna concentrate on my mirrored furniture or this mirrored console cleaning it. I am using Windex, simple Windex. This may be the Dollar Tree band. <laughs> Nothing major to clean this console. Now I purchased this console or this drawer here from also from Home Goods, and I got a good deal on it. And it had a huge crack right here. I think you can see the crack a little bit right here. And I've been slowly putting these gems on here. Now this takes time, but I will be working with this and I will eventually fill this entire piece or maybe stop it right here fill this entire piece with these gems to cover that little crack. But it works, all right? <laughs> I love this mirror piece. And I only I think I only paid $150 for it, if that, all right? So yeah, uh, love this mirror. I love mirrored furniture. If you can't, if you've been watching me, you know I love <laughs> mirrored furniture. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this decorated. So since my grandson is having surgery, I'm gonna keep things very simple, but it's gonna be elegant and classy, right? So I'm gonna place these flowers in this beautiful vase. 
This vase I picked up from Ross. I've had it for many, many years for $12.99. I wish I could find another one because <laughs> I love that detail. And I wish I could find uh, another tall one like this and two smaller ones, all right? And then this is gonna be my signature flower in the back of my home, like in my kitchen, my kitchen nook, my family room. And I'm gonna even take this on my back patio. And these flowers came from Hobby Lobby. They are $16.99 with 40% off right now. So I'm gonna place that on this console. I have this mirrored tray that I'm going to place right here. And it fits perfectly right there. Back to the voiceover. <laughs> I am adding these beautiful candle sticks that I picked up thrifting at my upscale resale in my area. And I don't think I paid $5 for the both of them, all right? I love finding beautiful things thrifting. And I am adding these cylinders, glass cylinders from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm scooting this tray over to make sure nothing gets broken when someone is reaching for the light switch, okay? I'm adding these flameless flickering Mirage candles that I picked up from Costco's a couple of years ago. They look so, so real. They do operate on a remote. But I love using these candles without having to worry about my grandson touching them. <laughs> now my favorite piece in my fall decor is this squirrel and I am in hopes I come across another one. I would like a twin for him uh, this year if I can find one. I picked up this squirrel a couple of years ago from Marshalls. I also, if you follow me around Easter time, I have a bunny, a chrome bunny, just like this chrome squirrel. But uh, this is my favorite piece. I don't care what else I purchase for fall. This is my favorite fall decor item. And of course, I have to do my signature bow with my Totally Dazzled bling added to that bow. So if you're interested in Totally Dazzled, I have a link in my description box for them affordable bling. And you can dress your home decor with not only for tablescapes, but you can do so much more with Totally Dazzled. The link will be in my description box down below. And I picked up these acorns from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has stepped up their game for the fall season. <laughs> oh yes. And I purchased these acorns because a squirrel have to have his nuts, right? <laughs> so I picked up three of these. I plan on going back to get more. They also have the pine cones. I did pick up a few silver pine cones and they also had them in copper. And lastly to this vignette, I'm gonna add these little jeweled burnt orange picks that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I've had everything that you see me using I've had on hand already, but I had in my stash or my inventory. Nothing was purchased to decorate. And I'm going to concentrate on that, I hope. <laughs> oh, I'm going to concentrate on not buying too much fall decor. I'm concentrating on actual home decor items for the holidays this year. Not specifically fall decor or Christmas decor because I have enough of that. I'm concentrating on actual home decor items. But guys, I'm leaving it simple. Just like I said, this vignette is so, so pretty to me. I'm loving my burnt orange and navy theme going on. And uh, Amari's being so good, I'm going to move over to my French doors and my kitchen nook. I'm going to add some window panels change my window panels up because I did have 
some uh, green, some sage green and taupe window panels up. And I want to change it to uh, these white or off-white and blue velvet window panels. These can be found in my Amazon store as well. So everything that I can, I will list in my description box down below if you are interested. And next I'm gonna clean my table. I've wiped it down and I just wanna put some furniture polish, uh, some pledge furniture polish on it to protect this. This table my hubby picked out. I did not pick this table out. This is the table he picked out. I was going a totally different direction, but uh, I love the round table. Um, I am, however, thinking about moving this table into my actual dining room and getting another table for in here but not not soon but we'll see so I'm gonna get the base of this table as well with this pledge furniture polish the details on this table is so so pretty it is timeless it is elegant You can glam it up, you can do it traditionally, you can do it Tuscan. It's just a timeless piece. Next, I'm taking my vacuum cleaner and I'm vacuuming all around the kitchen nook floor to get any dust, any crumbs that <laughs> we have dropped or Mari has dropped. Do you sweep or do you vacuum your floors? Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. My entire bottom floor is ceramic. So I try to vacuum it the majority of the time instead of sweeping. Now I just recently purchased this old cedar mop with the bucket and I am loving it. I will have this also linked in my description box down below. It's in my Amazon store. This mop can get into some tight, tight spaces. And with the triangular shape, Again, it can it can get into some spaces. It can get around some things, and I love that. Whew, glad that is over. <laughs> so my floor has dried. I've moved my chairs back, and I'm not going to do a total tablescape. I'm just going to sit uh, set this beautiful vase in the center. It's actually an apothecary jar. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to place my signature flowers in this vase. Now later I may do more but I'm just doing the basic minimum here today um, by just placing these flowers. I'm not going to set a tablescape because we do eat at this table every day. <laughs> uh, to give you a little laugh, Saturdays are my days off, all right? My boys know mom is not cooking on Saturday. Uh, 
if you want to cook, that's fine. But mom's not cooking. Mom, the majority of the time, we're hubby and I, we're out and about enjoying our Saturday. So, kitchen is closed for me. Uh, and they usually go out and they usually buy their own dinner on that day. So everybody's on their own. But I am loving this burnt orange and this navy blue theme that I'm doing for fall. With that touch of cream in those window panels. And I'm sharing with you right now what we've accomplished today. Uh, I'm loving this vignette on this console table. I'm going to call this a entryway table as you enter my family room. My kitchen, this kitchen nook and family room opens up to one another. It is a huge, huge space. Here's the window panels that we hung. I will be changing that out, those plates on that plate stand. Uh, I'll be doing a uh, decorate with me or something in my kitchen, so stay tuned. This is a sign that I had up even at my old, uh, my previous home. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I am adjusting these window panels. Loving that look. I love that bottom. You know how you have the off-white and it transitions to that navy bottom. And it just kisses the floor. That is gorgeous. This is the overall look. Loving it. So guys, stay tuned because um, I am preparing my home for fall. I'm not doing pre-fall. I am actually doing fall decorating. Just trying to get everything done before Amari's surgery because I know after his surgery, the focus is going to really be on him, um, taking care of him, making sure he uh, heals properly and he's taken care of. So I will be pumping out videos. So make sure you have that notification bell clicked so you won't miss a thing. You will be notified. I'm looking over at my kitchen over there and I'm like, yes, that has to go. All right, guys, that's all Mr. Amari's going to let me do today, right? <laughs> He's been pretty good watching Mickey's Clubhouse and letting me accomplish cleaning my kitchen nook. But uh, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad that you are here and I hope you decide to stay by clicking that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified of all the videos that I upload. I can be followed on other social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and I have an Amazon store where you can shop for home decor, home essentials, and so much more. All of those links can be found in my description box down below. And if you are a faithful and returning ABH family member, <laughs> you already know how I feel about you. I love you guys so much and I consider myself blessed that you are a part of the blessed family. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Be safe out there and I will talk to you real, real soon. You gonna say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Say, "Mwah." laughs> All right. <laughs>